In most people, the arch of the aorta gives rise to three blood vessels, a brachiocephalic trunk or brachiocephalic artery, which then gives rise to the right subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery, and on the left side, a left common carotid and a left subclavian, which do not arise from a left brachiocephalic trunk. Just for the record, another name for the brachiocephalic trunk or brachiocephalic artery is the innominate artery, which translates as the unnamed artery. And so I find it a little silly that the name of the artery is the unnamed artery. So I tend to use brachiocephalic trunk in my classes. In cats, which are interesting not only for a comparative anatomy standpoint, but also because many anatomy students have labs where they are dissecting uh, cats and comparing them to human anatomy. In cats, it is slightly different in that the brachiocephalic trunk gives rise not only to the right subclavian artery, the right common carotid artery, but also the left common carotid artery, which in cats does not have an independent uh, origin from the arch of the aorta. The left subclavian does have an independent origin from the arch of the aorta in cats. Note the variation that one can see in the origin of the left common carotid in this cat, which is much closer to the right common carotid than you saw in previous images. So thus, cats can not only vary on the outside, but also on the inside. Their blood vessels can differ slightly. Humans also vary in their blood vessels. While most people have the three vessels arising from the arch of the aorta described earlier, some people have only two vessels arising from the arch of the aorta because the left common carotid comes from the brachiocephalic trunk rather than having an independent origin. This variant is most common in Africa and South America. Other variants include the absence of a brachiocephalic trunk, so the right common carotid and right subclavian would arise from the arch of the aorta, the presence of a left brachiocephalic trunk, a right common carotid artery which originates from the left brachiocephalic trunk, a right subclavian that does not arise from the brachiocephalic trunk, so the brachiocephalic trunk could give rise uh, to the uh, two common carotids, but not the right subclavian, and then an origin of the left vertebral artery directly from the arch of the aorta. 